Welcome back to my channel. This is Sanjiraj, and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So, welcome to yet another video on the simulation modeling. So, today in this video, I'll be discussing regarding the gap test uh, in simulation modeling, uh, the algorithm and its small concept. What basically it is. So, when you go to solve the problem of the gap test, it will be the most longest problem. It will take the more amount of time than any other of the uh, problems you solved on the simulation modeling. So I'll uh, make a video uh, based on the uh, solved problem in the next session. So today we'll discuss uh, regarding what the algorithm is and what the basic concept is. So let's get started. So first of all, gap test is used to uh, count the number of digits between the successive occurrences of the same digits. This means that if some stream of uh, digits are there like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 till 9 is there and it may be random and first for example uh, we take the digit 0 and after how many occurrences the next 0 appears or comes or is observed suppose the next 0 is uh, occurred after the 33rd occurrence then that would be the length of that particular 0 so likewise you calculate for each of the digits that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so likewise you have to calculate and so while calculating you have to determine the probability and so the probability of that particular gap is determined by like for how many uh, digits that particular same digit is repeating again so that is uh, determined by this uh, probability that is m followed by exactly m non m digits uh, this is exactly x it is so exactly x digits probability of uh, m followed by exactly x non m digits and so you write the probability as this that is 0 0.9 raised to x that is x non m digits it should have and multiplied by 0 0.1 and the value of x can go from 0 1 to up till infinite so this was about a brief idea about what is the gap test now let us move on to the algorithm first so this gap test like the other algorithms is used for testing the independence so we define the hypothesis for testing the independence as h0 is the hypothesis that ri is independently distributed as soon as the hypothesis that ri is not independently distributed next step is to determine the number of gaps and the length of each gap associated with each of the digits that is 0 1 2 3 up till 9 now this will take a tedious amount of time for you to calculate you have to sit and calculate manually and you have to carefully calculate uh, because any of the mistakes will uh, fetch you the wrong answer in this and this hypothesis uh, may also change so this you have to carefully uh, investigate and see uh, when the next gap or the when the next digit is occurred next step 3 is to select the interval width based on the number of gaps and generate the frequency distribution table for the sample of the gaps and apply the KS test this means that there will be a particular gap length like for example uh, the problem which I am going to solve is that I have took the gap length or uh, width to a scale of 3 3 every 3 3 intervals so it will be like 0 to 3 then it will be 4 to 7 then 8 to 11 12 to 15 likewise so a uh, gap length of 3 would be there like it can be said that the uh, constant distance between each of this uh, lengths so likewise you have to calculate for all the digits that is 0 to 9 and then you have to prepare this table and this table consists of the gap length, the frequency which uh, we have uh, encountered, its relative frequency, then its accumulative rated frequency that is Sn of x and the CDF of the theoretical function which you have that is the capital F of x and finally you have to uh, deduct Sn of x from this F of x and within a mod so that you get all the positive answers next is uh, step 4 so in uh, step 4 you have to compute the test statistics that is d uh, which is the maximum deviation between the f of x and sn of x so when you calculate this d that is uh, you get a, a sequence of answers like for 0 digit 1 digit 2 digit up till 9 digit you may have all the values uh, for this column that is the final column and from that you have to determine the a maximum of this uh, mod f of x minus sn of x 
So that you calculate by this, that is max of this one, this equation. So this will fetch you the max value out of this. Next, once you do that, you have to determine the critical value like you solve in other uh, algorithms like the d alpha for the sample of size n and for the level of significance alpha from the table. And this step remains the same for the uh, KS test. Now in this you have to apply the KS test. Uh, in the previous video I discussed regarding the focus test. In focus test you uh, use the chi-square test whereas in gap test you use the KS test. So that you have to keep in mind. Next uh, the final step is to determine just if D is greater than D alpha. If so then hypothesis is rejected that is S0 is uh, rejected that the numbers are not independently distributed else if that is not the case and if uh, this condition that is d is uh, less than d alpha then h0 is the hypothesis that uh, the random numbers are uh, independent and so it is accepted. So this is all about the gap test uh, algorithm and its small concept what it is basically is. So in the problem when we solve it will take a much amount of time so be patient while solving the problem. So this is all about the gap test algorithm and its concepts. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.